monthly $13.50 tune up. $10 for your Adelco spark plugs. And then your PCV valve for $250 for $3 in tax. Your rubber gloves, because we got to gunk it first, we're doing it out of order. And then your socket wrench. This one is a 16 millimeter. You know, let's scratch the paintwork and uh, we'll get started. Paper towels, because it's going to get a little dirty. This Saturn engine, we're operating with an overhead cam, four spark plugs. Observe in its magnificence. So we found our engine. We have our ratchet wrench. We are going to remove the spark plug. Here we have our spark plug wires. We're just going to remove those in a little tug. And we're going to replace these eventually, but right now we're just doing the spark plug change. And now our goal is not to get any of this debris into the engine, but leave it as much as we can. And we're just going to break these free. Oh, that one's gritty. The one thing to know is the sequence in which the spark plug wires match up. These are pretty easy because they're in length of the uh, distance from the distributor to the engine block. But this fourth one I have over here off to the side, that's the cylinder right here. So keep in mind which ones you might want to put a, a zip tie around them or something to distinguish two wraps as you know, second cylinder and so on. One, two, three, four, however you want to order it. Don't forget the little details. We don't have any of that junk going inside, so we're going to be very careful wiping that down. Oh yeah, look at all that. So we have dropped the crush washer for the spark plug down behind the radiator. So what I'm going to do to fix it is I've stuck some tape on a long screwdriver and we'll see if that will get it. Looky there. Before you install your spark plugs, check your owner's manual, check the spark plug gap. They have something like this, you can check your valve covers with these. You can get those little circles uh, that has a spacing on it. This is probably a better option than all of a sudden done. It's about five dollars at your hardware store. This is what you're looking for. On this vehicle, we're looking for right there, 0.1 or 0 0.040 inches, which is what we have here on this little measuring device. And we'll show what that looks like when we check the gap. Another little tech tip. Stack your spark plugs where they came out of the cylinders and examine each cylinder, see if any particular cylinder is running rough. Outside of these just being in terrible shape, they don't look too bad of the whole combustion cycle. What I mean by that is it's a nice brown color, but you look at this fourth one, you say, hold on, that doesn't look like it's actually burning properly. And what happened? I took the boot off and I ran around the block and uh, that's what you'll get. That was just you know a quarter of a mile. So should be a quick indication as to how your vehicle's running. That is the difference between a worn out spark plug and a good new spark plug. You'll notice the space from the bottom to the top is almost cut in half. So it's that much less distance the spark has to travel. So these are extremely worn out and I'll measure these to make sure they're good to go. So what you, we have is our measurement here is 0.020, oh, see, focus, 0 0.020 and 0 0.019. You add those together, that's 0.39. So it's darn stinking close. And we're going to measure this and see it just barely slides in there. So that means we have a good fit. We're going to check the other three and then install them. So we got everything hand tightened. Of course everything is hand tightened also undone, but we're not using any levers here. And then we're gonna take our wrench. And we're gonna start at a known spot. We're gonna start right down at the bottom. And then these spec out in the box. They don't say, usually you want a quarter to a half turn, so I'm going to do a half turn. And since we're in the, the mood to keep everything clean, 
take our boots. You can spray some terminal materials in here to keep the connection strong. I'm just going to put these in because I'm going to replace the wires here shortly. So right now we're just getting a connection. I suppose we should have done a before and after to see how it, it works, but I can tell you it wasn't the greatest. It ran, but this is already smoother. It took a couple seconds for the engine to recognize it had a different set of spark plugs in there. But once it figured that out, it sorted things through, and now we're running properly. So, next step, PVC valve. Let's go ahead and cut the engine. So, we located our intake housing. This is the air box right here, then it leads back to our intake manifold, and right here is the hose that our PVC valve is going to go into. So let's take a closer look. Your PCV valve, sometimes called PVC by accident, is this little valve. So these gum up, and this one rattles because it's moving freely inside out. Pull this sucker out. You get that oily grit inside. That's what we're trying to avoid because that's what slows up the works. So for a couple dollars, we're going to clean this out with a paper towel. Let's see if we can bring some life back into this. Look at all that residue that comes through there. That's what gums it up with time. We're doing our job when we wipe this not to push anything through. So if we put the new one in. Press into place. Job well done.